Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm one of the secretaries in FEMO. Hi, I'm Tokto, and I'm the president of FEMO. In this video, we will be giving an example of a conversation you can have with another student. Most of these conversations will be focused on cultural differences between the two countries. But you can also ask for an English lesson if you need extra help with your English. Or just have a casual talk about your daily experiences. As an example, we will begin by talking about extracurricular activities we both enjoy doing. I will be taking the role of a student in the U.S. and Tokto will be taking the role of a student in Japan. Hi, Tokto. Hi, Nicole. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm also doing well. Do you have anything specific you want to talk about today? Uh, no. I don't have anything in mind. Okay. What did you do today? Uh, I just got back from soccer practice. Oh, how did that go? It was... It was very fun. My teammates and I played some games against each other. I'm sad that I'm graduating this year because my soccer season depends on how we do in the next tournament. If we lose in the next one, we can't go to the next tournament. The first and second years still have another season. But we are done after this season since we have exams during that time, so we have to retire. Oh, really? That's surprising. In the U.S., you can do any sport you want for the entire year, not mattering in what grade you're in. But sports are divided into seasons. Each sport has its own season. For example, I'm doing cross country, and that's only in the spring. What's cross country? Cross country is a long distance running sport. We run outdoors in a natural terrain. This means the ground is uneven and there are a lot of hills. Oh, so it's similar to track and field? Yeah, we have track and field in the spring and the season ends after the last meet. It depends on how we do in that meet and if we qualify for the next meet. This is the same for all all of the years, unlike Japan, which has the seniors retire right after the first half of the year due to their exams. Seniors? What are seniors? Seniors are the fourth year in high school. I'm a sophomore, which is the second year in high school. Oh, really? We have three years of high school in Japan. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so back to the topic of sports. The cross-country season just ended with the race last Saturday for me. I'm getting ready for track and field now. How did the race go? Did your team do well? I think our teams all had great races, although some people weren't feeling so well. The sophomore boys team placed fourth against some really tough teams. How do they decide the ranking for a team? Well, they'll assign the first five runners on a team a score based on their placing. So someone who places first in a race would score one, 15th would score 15, and so on. And then the teams earn places based on which team has the lowest point total. Basically, it's like golf where the lowest point wins. So even though we run as a team, it's really the sum of each team member's individual performances rather than coordinated teamwork like soccer would be. What does coordinated mean? Hmm. Coordinating something means working, um, making sure different parts work together to succeed as a whole. Oh, I see. Yeah, for soccer, we all have to try our best because it adds up to how well the team does. If some people aren't doing as well as everyone else, we all lose. Some people, like in, 
like cross country be- like in cross country because your performance isn't tied up with what the rest of your team does. I mean, everyone gets their own score based on how fast they can run over a certain distance. Whereas in soccer, there's one score that's based on all sorts of things like passing or uh, like what? Like shooting, passing, and talking. Those are some things that can help us win. I can see why not everyone likes soccer. I should try a sport like cross country. Maybe. It sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. Although there are different skills to learn when running too, like running over short distances, over long distances, on flat ground, up hills, down hills, um, around turns. Uh, okay, so maybe there aren't that many skills. I mean, to me... That still sounds like a lot. Maybe it's just because I don't do that sport. I can't imagine running that much all the time, though. Soccer is a running sport, but you get to take breaks during the games. So you're not using a lot of energy all the time. (laughs) It would be nice sometimes to have some thinking involved in a sport. Instead of just being told where to run and when to get there, and then occasionally being told to lift your knees or lower your shoulders. Yeah, you're right. It's the same in soccer, except you have a little more freedom, because the coach can't really yell at you the entire time. They have to let you do your own thing so you can learn yourself about the mistakes you made. Sometimes they'll mention something when it gets really bad. (laughs) All the cross-country coaches sound the same during races because they're all yelling the same thing to different people. Time to pick up the pace. One mile left. Stay in it. Go catch the guy in front of you. Don't let that guy catch you. Get a fast start. Finish strong. Which is really just a bunch of ways to say go faster or don't slow down. (laughs) That's funny. I can't imagine having our coaches yell like that at us during games. I would probably get very distracted. Sometimes it's weird though because everything will get silent when the coaches stop talking. And then the players forget to talk too. So I guess in some situations I want them to yell at us or for someone to say something so the talking can start again. So... That's just a quick example of how a live call might turn out to be. We hope that this made it easier for everyone to understand the concept of these conversations. We will keep in mind to adjust your level of English, so don't panic if this conversation was too difficult or easy. We hope this gave you some interest in doing the live calls. It will be very helpful to you, and we promise to make it a fun experience. If you have any more questions, text us on the app called Remind on your phone. The class code will be JFEMO, or email us at fhsfemo at gmail.com. The information will be down below. Thank you.